Today I'm showing you how to increase your RO membrane longevity and effectiveness. Hi guys, I'm Randy. Today on BRS TV How To, I'm showing you how to install a flush valve on your RODI filtration unit to maximize the efficiency of your RO membrane and prolong its life. One of the main reasons we install a flush valve on the RODI unit is to remove any mineral buildup and scale from the membrane's filter layers. Not only does this increase the efficiency of the membrane by removing potential blockages, but it also increases the life of the filter. One of the great things about the flush valve we use here at BRS is that the flow restrictor is built into the valve, so there's no need for multiple fittings. On top of that, these flush valves come in a variety of restrictor sizes and are compatible with most RODI units on the market. So whether you have a 75 gallon per day membrane or a single 150 gallon per day, there's a flush valve out there for you and they're a breeze to install. For today's install, you really don't need any tools, but every time I work with push connect fittings, I like to use a crescent wrench to help push in the retaining ring and release the tubing from the fitting. The first thing I'll want to do is locate and remove the existing flow restrictor on my RODI unit wastewater line. Our tubing is color coded so you would find your restrictor on the black line and if you don't find one that looks like a barrel style restrictor, you would need to remove the wastewater line from your unit and check inside the tubing for a capillary style restrictor. If you have a barrel style flow restrictor already installed in your unit, all you have to do is remove this existing restrictor and insert the new flush valve restrictor in its place and be sure to install it with the flow indicator arrow pointing away from the membrane housing. If you have a capillary restrictor, remove it from the wastewater tubing, install the new flush valve in line, and it's ready to go. Finally, I would consider the flush valve to be a maintenance tool for the membrane itself, which we recommend flushing for about five to 10 minutes before and after making RODI water. And if you're like me and forget to flush your system from time to time, don't worry. It's not going to ruin your RO membrane, but it's a good idea to try to flush as often as possible, especially after making RODI water, so that mineral deposits and other debris don't become stagnant within the housing in between uses. Well guys, that wraps up this installation. If you have more questions, please don't keep them to yourselves because that's what this team of reefers lives for. Give us a quick call or email, and if you need your answer in the next 60 seconds, hit us up with the chat. See you in the next episode of BRS TV.